day, Brutal Planet listeners. This is Eric Peterson, quarantining from Salt Lake City. And today I have the pleasure of being joined by Granica Mancini of Thunder Mother. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm really good. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am great. Where are you quarantining from today? Uh, right outside of Stockholm, where I live now. Nice. So, um, so you're not officially quarantining then? Uh, I mean, it's uh, relative. It's not as bad as anywhere else, I guess, in the world. <laughs> but we do have to follow restriction, you know, the rules and, you know, the social distancing and stuff like that. But it's nothing compared to the rest of the world. So I'm not, I'm not going to be complaining. Nice. <laughs> And I was I was just going to tell you one of my favorite things about you is your name. And when we met, uh, we talked about the fact that you're named after a Picasso painting that has the same name. Yes, I'm named after the painting. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, I mean, that's that's something cool. And yeah, it's super cool. And it's an anti-war painting. So exactly. It means a lot. It's a very important painting. So I'm happy that I can maybe shed some light on uh, that story for people that doesn't know about it. Yes. And, yes. Uh, you know no wars <laughs> exactly exactly so how have things been for you and thunder mother since kind of the shit hit the fan well we had to cancel our rose tattoo show uh, tour we were on a, a month long tour which ended up being just two weeks and um it's it's more or less we've we've had to cancel all our all our gigs everything and we had this year we've had like more than a hundred shows booked. I mean, I'm still hoping that a, a few of them are going to happen, which are set to be in September and, you know, the year on out. But uh, as of right now, it's mostly just the uh, all the gigs, all the summer festivals, everything. And it's been very, very strange, uh, especially now that we're releasing a new album and everything. But we've done our best to stay creative and you know we've had several live streams which you can find on our social media platforms like facebook instagram uh youtube um and we're gonna have another one with candle mass in august so that's gonna be fun oh that'll be uh, fun yeah, yeah yeah um but um i'm sorry i'm just like rambling on now no it's what fine it? <laughs> so uh, it's I mean, and you guys have done some amazing tours. I mean, I, I think about, you know, I I first met you guys in 2018 at the Sabaton Open Air. And we had we had a blast in the green room and we did an interview and we just hung out and it was fun. But you guys have done like, you've done the Vakken Festival and then the Kiss Cruise. I mean, so you guys have had some a good run of some stuff. Yeah, definitely. We did the Kiss Cruise and then the last year we did the Kiss Fest, the, you know, the the pre-party for the cruise. Yeah. So that was actually a lot of fun. Like we love the Kiss Army people. They're great. And, and it was such a blast that they invited us back, that they really enjoyed our music and wanted us, wanted to see us again. So it was such a nice, just very, very great compliment. And we love them. And I really, really hope we get to do more Kiss events because the people are amazing. Um, yeah, and Wacken, we played several times. We were going to play Wacken this summer, but uh, I'm hoping that it gets postponed to next year, which I, I think it does. Yeah, um, yeah. And we were going to play Copenhagen this summer, too. And I don't know, we we did the Backyard Babies tour last year. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've done, we've been a very active band. <laughs> what about, like, uh, Sweden Rock? You've done that. Oh, yeah, we played Sweden Rock last year. It was crazy. That was actually one of the best festivals last year because I wasn't actually expecting that much from Sweden due to our, like, our biggest fan base is in Germany. Yeah. Uh, so when we played uh, Sweden Rock and it was like 15,000 people watching us, it was we were all in shock. But we had so much fun. And I was like on, you know, what's the, that expression, cloud nine or whatever? Yes, but I was, yes. You know, I was super happy that whole day. I was... One of my only times in life that I've had a little bit of a hybris. I don't know. How, how do you say that in English? You uh, know what that is? Hybris. hybris. No. <laughs> like it's just a little high? Hybris is basically when you're full of yourself. Oh, you just think oh, you're you the thought, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just walk around and think that you're so awesome. <laughs> and I don't usually tend to be like that because that's just not my personality. But after that gig at Twitter Rock, I was like... You did not want to meet me then. I was a horrible <laughs> diva, but that was only for a, a day. 
head, your head was inflated, just huge. My ego was beyond inflated. It was ridiculous, but it's all it's nice that I know when I do it, and I like I have great friends that take me down, you know, bring me down to earth again, and yeah. So and the then, yeah, the show must go on. <laughs> exactly. So the, the new album Heat Wave comes out July thirty first, and I've had a chance to listen to it and. It's a very very fun album, and I hate to I hate to say that in the midst of like a with a pandemic going on and all that, but I enjoy the album because it to me it's an album like I could see like road cruising too, you know, because you could sing to it and it's just got really mm -hmm. good beats. And I, I I mean I I think people are gonna love the album. How how have have you guys gotten to play any of those songs live at all? We played a Driving in Style during the Rose Tattoo uh, tour. Uh huh. And that was a lot of fun to see the reaction of people, you know, because it is slightly different from our usual, like, the usual songs. Yeah. Or what people expect from us, I would say. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I actually think it's a positive thing because we are going through tough times and people need uplifting things. Yeah. So if you like high energy, fun, exciting rock and roll, then this album is going to give you all that exactly and uh, i'm happy to be able to share it especially during these times but i mean we didn't write it during this time it would be weird if we wrote like the most positive <laughs> album during the pandemic then yeah then there's something for sure messed up with all yes, of us but exactly. no we didn't write it now <laughs> so the 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 song driving in style the video for it is amazing um Thank i you. just i just have to ask was it as fun to make as it was as fun to watch uh, it was actually a lot of fun. We 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 shot two videos that day in this, uh, which would be our third uh, our third single. We shot first during that day, and then we shot this whole party scene, and it was it was a blast. We all got to do things that we don't normally do, and well, well, oops, yeah, <laughs> this is how it looks backstage at our shows. So. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was a lot of fun. Like it, it's on. Honestly, I was like shocked when they asked me to ride a bull because I'm like the clumsiest person you'll ever <laughs> meet. Uh, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die doing this. But they still, they helped me out and like made it look cool. And I was wearing these like latex pants, and you get stuck on the material, you know, the 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 skin of the. Oh bull, whatever, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I that too much information. But it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, the ending turned out differently because we did have too much fun. So those last shots weren't great. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where was it filmed? Mm, it was filmed at, in like the countryside out like an hour outside of Hamburg. So in Germany. Oh, okay. And all these people that are in the, in the video are actually like, um, thunder like real thunder mother fans that nice. applied to be part of it. So we're super grateful that everyone came in like you know, a normal day and, and helped us out and partied with us. Yeah, it yeah. It made Thunder Mother history. Yes, that, yeah. I mean, so so you, the, you've got another video that's coming out. Is it coming out soon? Uh, well, the other video, I, I um, it was supposed to be instead of sleep, but then we changed it last minute. So I honestly don't know when the third single is coming out. I'm thinking probably around the time that we released the album. Okay, all right. Uh, so July, August sometime. Uh, but uh, yeah, we but we just released a single, Sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, Yes, and I wanted to talk about that song too, because that is is one of my favorite songs on the album. I love that Thank song. Thank you. Thank um, you. That's actually one of my favorite too. It's you have a sound of very Alanis Morissette to Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, the guitar solo by Philippa is very uh, Joe Perry isk. You know, I like. But I was going to ask you a little bit. Is there a story behind the song? Um, I mean. I would say that we've just taken it, the inspiration of the song is previous relationship that didn't really yeah. relationships that didn't really end up the way we wanted them to. And um, so, I mean, yeah, I wrote about my last like real serious relationship uh, and that whole experience with, you know, when you're separating and it's just not working out and, you know, it's over and you just need to take that step and, you know, move away from each other and all that stuff. But uh, we wrote it together. So I think that everyone can relate to that kind of heartache, you know, when when you just realize that something is over. Exactly. And it's, it's hard. 
Exactly. Uh, There's nothing yeah. easy about it. No, nothing easy about it at all. <laughs> but it, but your voice very very much has that Alanis Morissette kind of ironic kind of a feel to it almost. Thank um, you. Thank you. It was nothing that I actually, it was not an active choice. It just came out like that. Um, the expression, I guess. And then I guess I, I, to me, I, 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 I managed to throw in some country vibes into it as well, which definitely. I was like shocked over myself that I can do, but that's just how I felt at the moment. And I love Alanis. And, and I think that maybe that's not an artist that I ever mentioned, but I have listened to her a lot growing up. Uh, because people always ask you top three, blah, blah, blah. And it's like impossible to mention every person, every artist that has ever inspired you in, in any way. Yeah. But Alanis has, obviously, I love 90s rock. And as of late, I've been listening to some country too. So I think that all that, like all the combinations of music that I enjoy, it, I mean, it's coming out on this album. Good. And yeah. Who, who, who would you say you get compared to the most vocally? It's very different. It's from song to song. I mean, I'm I'm just longing for the day where people like just hear that it's me and I, you know, that it's just my sound. But um, uh, I guess for some of the songs it's a little like pink. I get a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like or uh, Lissy Hale, which I don't understand at all because we, yeah, we we have the same kind of powerful vocal, but I don't think we necessarily have any similarities besides the the technique. Yeah. And I think she's great, so it's not any complaints. I'm I'm always happy to hear that one, but I, yeah. I don't hear it myself. Just like I get Janice Joplin. I, would, I think that's just uh, the way I express how I sing, because yes, Janice also has inspired me in just like the importance of really meaning what you're saying like every single word is important to actually you know that you know what you're saying and how you but i think that the janice part is something you'll you'll feel and hear more when you see us live but if i manage to get any of that on the album i'm, I'm more than happy someone actually mentioned the like a country artist the other day that i don't listen to uh she's blonde <laughs> what's her name oh maybe carrie underwood yeah, Carrie Underwood. Okay. I was like, whoa, I've never actually listened to her. I know of her. Yeah. Uh, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, it's all great musicians, all great female vocalists. So I'll just take it as a really nice compliments. I, I will I will say that, say, have seen you live, you and on this album, the power behind your voice and the power in your voice and your stage presence very much speaks to Janis Joplin. I mean, it just. Thank you, it, and that's that's uh, that's actually something that I've uh, worked. I mean, I don't know if you know that, but I I, I did go to school in Los Angeles. So I uh -huh. went to MI, and I I, I went to this uh, program called Vocal Performance or VIT. It's called. Yeah. Uh, but it's all about the performance of like the importance of performing the song, you know, and uh -huh. I and that's something that I learned there, and and Janice is definitely one of the people that I've. Uh, I've grasped, grasped to most to like, I just love the way that she managed to really be in the moment and really mean every word that she sang. And, the, and so the, that's a great. Thank you. And the cool part is, is someday somebody is going to say, you know who you sound like? You sound like Guernica. Exactly. Like, you know, I mean, and you'll, you'll <laughs> just be going, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh God. Glorious day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the, I mean, the rest of the album, I mean, it has some great songs on it. Um, Bad Habits. I love Bad Habits. That's a great song. Um, but I just have to say, No Habit is really bad until you don't like it anymore. So so I just like it to embrace your habits. You know what I mean? And but Yeah, but I think it's more of what, what, you know, where it's like where you have habits that become addiction, maybe. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> exactly. But none of us have that, so it's all good. It's more of a, I guess, a, a fun, interesting kind of thing to, to say, I guess. Because so I don't necessarily think I have any bad habits either. And every time someone asks me, so what are your bad habits? I'm like, ooh, I drink too much Coca-Cola Zero, I think. <laughs> but uh, I need to work on a really cool rock answer so people think I'm super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Better start working on it. I mean, for me, I've tried to expand my horizons, but for the longest time... I was that guy that said, 
if it ain't metal, it isn't music. And so I've, that was a, to well, me. Welcome a, to the classic rock side. <laughs> yeah. You know, so to me, but, but I consider classic rock in that whole metal thing, you know, but it's, but I've learned to expand my horizons. Um, and then for me, another thing is, is I, I'm not a social drinker. I, if I drink, it's a hundred percent. So I, I, I grew up when I drank, I was, I was before I was legally allowed to drink. So you drink as fast as you can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I never really yeah, got out of that. For a lot of people, I yeah. guess over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the, I mean, so yeah, sorry. The, is there any other songs on the album that have any special meaning to you that particularly you you enjoy? Well, I really like the 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 meaning of oh, well, uh, somebody love me because I think it's um, when we wrote it with Sod and it was kind of it was one of those things where he was like he wanted me to show off a more vulnerable side, mm -hmm. which you kind of you know already. I, I don't enjoy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't enjoy showing off that side. Yeah. Too much, but I think it was needed, and I and I really like to sh you know that that song speaks to. You know, when you see me in the spotlight, there's one thing. And then when I am at home, it's a different story. And that uh, even a person that gets a lot of attention, you know, might not necessarily get that, uh, you know, that love in other aspects because people just think that you get it all the time. And it's not that way necessarily. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like just because you 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 have the spotlight on stage, it doesn't mean that people remember that you you also need to feel loved and feel appreciated and be seen by people that actually that you love. You know what I mean? Like a like on Facebook and Instagram is not the same thing as like a friend giving you a hug or just nope. being there for you. Exactly. So I think to me that that just just speaks uh, so much to what I've been going through and everything. So I, I love that song so 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 much. Uh, but then also like Purple Sky because I lyrics the verse um i mean i wrote the verse while the girls were doing the music on that one and it, it's so much about just like my my upbringing in a town where or i think this goes for a lot of people but just the upbringing of like people just oh when are you gonna grow up are you gonna focus on music it, it, when you're gonna get a real job like all these questions that you have to answer until you actually reach a, a pretty you know, reach some pretty high success, you know, yep. within the music, which is very rare and very hard. Um, and, uh, and it's just tough because people don't understand that it takes years and years and years to get there. Mm -hmm. And they just think that you're wasting your time and being like, you know, an idiot because you're not getting a nine to five or whatever. So to me, that, that song is just ventilating about that i mean I, I have a full a full full support for my family but it, uh, i mean for some people that's taken some time to understand why i feel the need to to pursue this dream yeah 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 so i was gonna ask you what um what about live shows do you miss right now i miss everything i mean the live shows are in my opinion the best part like I'll go into the studio and record because that's something that we have to do. And I, I, I enjoy creating songs and writing songs, but being on stage is my absolute favorite thing in the world. Like I'm not, I'm never as happy as I am when I get to perform. So I miss that. I miss the communication with the audience. The, when you feed off each other's energy, it's just such a wonderful thing. And I, I can't wait to get to do it again. Yeah. Is there anything that you don't miss from being on the road? Well, I mean, the waiting sucks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but it's it's like we've reached a level now that where it's like, woohoo, we get our single rooms when we get hotel. You know, like there's like certain little <laughs> tiny baby victories that make life so much easier when you're on the when you're constantly on the road, and that's great. But you're still traveling really long distance and. You know, so that that part is hard, but I mean, we've all been pretty good at finding things to do. Like I, I always listen to a lot of music and podcasts, and I draw in my little mindfulness book. And you know, nice. we all do things to get through those like really, really boring drives. <laughs> nice, nice. So, 
the new album um, comes out July 31st. Is there any um, special packages or anything that's like I saw there was a vinyl that would look really cool. Yeah, there's a, a black vinyl that has like yellow color splatter all over it, which you can get on EMP, uh, the uh, the German one. Uh-huh. I think I don't know if it's like all over, but it, I know the German EMP, you know, the merch store has it. Um, and I think you can find links for everything at thundermother.com. Nice. We did have a pre-order uh, thing of a box where you got like a t-shirt, some uh, sunglasses and some other stuff, but they all sold out. Oh, okay. I mean, that's great for us. We were super happy that they did. But, yeah. Um, we have that and we, and we have some cool merchandise. Like today we just put up, we have this like, really cool bomber jacket, like retro style in gold and black. And it says Thunder Mother big on the back. So I just saw that. That's go really cool. Thundermother.com and you'll find our merch store there and you'll find everything. There's even this really cool t-shirt that I know my sister hated it at first because she was like, oh my God, how can you write that on a t-shirt? But I thought it was funny because obviously I wasn't thinking about myself per se. Like I was yeah. just generalizing. Uh, but it says basically um, support the arts sleep with a rock star and then <laughs> Thunder Mother on the back, which I think is hilarious. Yes. Uh, so it's not nothing too serious about it. It's just one of those Corona t-shirts that we made. Nice. Uh, yeah. So you find everything on, you know, on our website. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So can you, I, my last question I have for you is, is there a Thunder Mother song by title or by content that you know, that you can think of that would best describe the state of the world today? Oh my God, from the new album. Or any of any of your, your... I mean- oh, That's it, a good question, I don't- um... Uplifting, is there anything that's uplifting that would help people rise above? Um, let me think, let me think. Uh, uh, what do we have? <laughs> hmm. God, I can't, I can't, I can't come up with anything. I need to like look at our album now. Well, I would, I mean, for me, I was thinking, I mean, your driving and style was, I mean, I know it's not, you know, driving into the future, you know, we, we got to move forward and drive into the future. That was one of the songs I thought would be a good for the soundtrack of the summer. So. Yeah, that that's true. That is true. And it's also a little like cheeky in the, you know, second verse, but uh, yeah. let me see, Thunder Mother. <laughs> uh heat wave oh, it's so hard because i'm thinking like uh what's it called that one sorry i should have i should have, i didn't uh maybe loud and alive or no loud and alive would be a good one uh, free ourselves but i mean that's a lot speaking a lot about how it is in sweden right now yeah with the clubs yeah. shutting down and stuff so yeah i guess that could be yep. something but then again we wouldn't want people to go and be crazy and spread this sh- stuff even yeah, more so yeah exactly don't free yourself just yet yeah <laughs> but when the time has come free yourself <laughs> exactly and then it's time to party and have a good time again. exactly <laughs> Well, Guernica, it has been amazing to talk to you, and everybody needs to go pick up your album, listen to the singles that you've released. The new Sleep single is, like I said, one of my favorite songs. I, I love your voice in it. So, Thank you. So everybody go pick that up, and um, we will chat soon. Yes, we will. I hope to see you guys in the United States, or I will just have to come and see you guys in, in Sweden again. I hope both, both of them. We need to go to the States and you need to come to Sweden. Yes, yes. Well, thank you again and we will chat soon. Yes. Okay. Bye.